When it comes to tool storage on a wall, you have basically two options, pegboards and French cleat. I prefer pegboard for my hand tools, but I hate when the hooks are falling down each time I pick something. So I made this custom pegboard organizer to resolve my problem. And today I'm going to show you how to make this tool organizer. The first part of our video will be the build of these organizer and the second part is how to hook them on your pegboard. And let's get started. Alright, so I start with the plier organizer. First, I take one of my plank where I already added some marks on it to show you where I will glue the small pieces. Then, using some wood glue, I glue them in place and as you can see, I alternate between longer and shorter pieces. Check the link in my description for more details, but remember this is custom made for my pliers. Next, I put some wood glue on all my pieces and I had the top plank. I clamp everything together and I let it dry, then I move to the next one. Screwdriver Organizer This is another simple one. Well, they are all simple. I just glue my two pieces together, then I clamp them until the glue dry. And once it's dry, I drill the holes for the screwdrivers at every one and a half inches apart. Then, to give more support, I add some triangle scrap pieces to the bottom. And we are done for this one. Alright, so the next organizer is a tape holder. But you could make something similar for your shop towel. It's a simple plank where I have added two side flap on which I drill a hole the size of my dowel, so in this case is 3 8 of an inch. Once the hole are drilled, I glue the side flap on my plank and then I simply insert the dowel through the holes. So we have done our third organizer and we can move to the next one. And the next one is an organizer that can be used for a lot of stuff. In my case, it will be for my markers, my crayon, rulers and my utility knife. I made mine with only two compartments, but you can make it the size you want. You could have 10 compartments wide if you want. You need to customize the organizer for your needs. And if you plan to make these, remember that I have a link in my description with measurements in details. And with all the pieces glued together, our fourth organizer is done. The last organizer is a simple plywood bin. Much better than the plastic bin that you can buy, but that always break. This one is a tough one. Again, I simply glue all the pieces together like the last four organizer and we can move to the part two of this video. All right, now that all our tool organizer are assembled, we need to find a way to hang them onto the pegboard. So let's check this out. Here is our pegboard. As you can see, the distance between each hole is 1 inches. So when designing your organizer, the side of your boxes needs to be at every 1 inches because you need to align them with the holes on the pegboard. Why? Because we are going to screw some L hooks on the back of the organizer. And that's why it's important that the sides of your organizer are at every 1 inches. Because it's in these that we will screw our L hooks. So in my case, my box sides are 4 inches apart, center to center, so they will align with the holes on my pegboard. I'll show you how to install them, let's go. So I start with my hell hooks that I will screw on the back of my organizer. I draw two lines at one quarter of an inch from the top, then I make another mark on this line at 3 16 of an inch from the side. Then I drill a pilot hole on both sides and this will prevent the plywood from splitting. Then I start by screwing my hell hooks by hand and I finish using my vice grip. And the depth of your hooks will depend on the thickness of your pegboard. And there we go, it should look like this. And now do the same thing for all your organizer and you'll be ready to hook them on your pegboard. And now, be creative, there are thousands of possibilities for what you can create. The one I made are pretty basic to make, but also easy to make. Tell me what you want to see next in the comment below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I see you next time. Bye bye.